Hello students, welcome to the SketchUp 8 tutorial on how to draw a pencil sharpener. Let's open SketchUp 8. Alright, let's immediately save this file. So let's go to File, Save As. Under the Save In window, click the down arrow and look for your student number or you can look for your student number down the left hand side. I want you to call the file sharpener sharpener and then click save. Okay let's begin. Now in comparison to this girl a pencil sharpener is very small so we're going to have to zoom in. So from the top toolbar, let's click on the magnifying glass, the zoom tool. Let's position the, the zoom tool at the origin and let's scroll in and zoom right in. We have to zoom quite far. You see the size of her foot compared to where my origin is. Okay, let's click on the rectangle tool. Click on the rectangle tool and I would like you to start at the origin click once and then start dragging outwards. Do not click a second time. I want you to type in 3cm comma space 1.5cm. Now if you're confused look in the bottom right hand corner of my screen and you'll see the dimensions 3 centimeters comma space 1.5 centimeters and then this is important key uh, important step hit enter. Once you hit enter, it will create that rectangle with those dimensions, 3 centimeters by 1.5 centimeters. So you see how small this pencil sharpener is. So let's zoom in. So again, I clicked on the zoom tool, the magnifying glass. I positioned it over my rectangle and I zoomed in. Okay, next, let's use the push-pull tool. From the top pool, the toolbar, let's click on the push-pull tool. Click once on that rectangle and start pulling up. Do not click your mouse button a second time. I want you to type in 1.5 cm, 1.5 centimeters, and then hit enter. Okay, there we go. There is our pencil sharpener. Okay, let's look at this pencil sharpener from the front. So from the camera pull down menu, click on the camera pull down menu go to standard views and go front okay and that will let us look at our sharpener from the front it's actually the side of the sharpener but we're looking at it from a front view let's use the pencil tool so click on the pencil tool and I want you to come down to this corner and I want you to click once and then pull your mouse upwards but don't click again I want you to type in 1 cm and then hit enter. Now it won't look like you've drawn a line but what I want you to do is now position your pencil on that line keep going upwards until you find the end point. The cursor will turn green and that will show you the end of the pencil line that you just drew. So from this point I want you to click on the pencil tool once and start drawing and go to this corner here and click a second time. Let's use the orbit tool from the top toolbar. Let's spin around to the side of our sharpener. Let's look at it from an angle. Let's switch back to the pencil tool. And what I want you to do is I want you to draw a pencil line from this endpoint across this face and I want you to keep the line green. That's how you'll know that the line will be drawn on the face. And I want you to go to the opposite edge. It'll say on edge and click a second time. You see how it's drawn the line across? Now I want you to orbit around to the back side. Let's look at it from an angle. Let's repeat those steps. Let's click on the pencil tool. Let's start from this point here where it says end point. Click once, start drawing to this corner here and click a second time when it says endpoint. All right, now we're going to do something very exciting here. Let's click on the eraser tool. 
So click on the eraser tool. What I want you to do is I want you to position your eraser over this line here, this top edge, and then click once. That edge will disappear. Now I want you to click on this top edge. That edge will disappear. I want you to click on this vertical edge here. And then click on this last line here and this vertical edge. And there we go. Let's have a look. Let's zoom around. Now most hand pencil sharpeners have this type of trapezoid shape. So let's save it. Let's protect our work and let's go to File, Save. Okay, so let's now kind of orbit around. I've got the Orbit tool and I want to look at it from the front of the, uh, of the sharpener. I, I know you're getting confused because I've called different sides of the front. So this is actually the front where you put your pencil in. So we can go up to the camera menu, go to standard views, and choose side or right. Okay? So we're looking at the front of the sharpener. So let's click on the, the uh, circle tool. So I want you to position the center of the circle as close to the middle of that uh, uh, square as you can. Click once and start pulling the circle out. And I want you to type in 0 0.6 centimeters as the radius, 0 0.6 cm, and hit enter. So once you've drawn that circle with a radius of 0 0.6 centimeters, you have a good idea of whether you got it in the center of the circle or not, in the center of the square or not. Now I did a pretty good job. I got it pretty much in the center of that square. So what I want to do next is I want to click on the Orbit tool and slightly go to the side, have a look at this corner from an angle, and then I want to click on the Push-Pull tool. I'm going to click once on the circle, and I'm going to start pushing with my mouse inwards. And instead of clicking a second time, I want you to type in 0 0.2 centimeters. So I'm setting how far I'm pushing that circle in. So you see, I've only pushed it in a little bit. So let's do something similar on the back side of the sharpener. So let's click on the orbit tool. Let's go all the way around to the back. Or what I could have done is I could have gone up to camera, standard views, and this time look at it from the left side. Oops. And what happens is it kind of positions it near the girl's foot. So I just need to find where my sharpener is. There it is. Let's click on the circle tool again. And let's try to position the center of the circle near the center, as close to the center of that rectangle as you can. Let's click once to start the circle and start pulling outwards. And then I want you to type in 0 0.3 centimeters this time. Now this circle has to be smaller than the circle on the front because it's on the back side of the sharpener. And again, you have, an, you have a look to see if you've centered that circle in the middle of that rectangle. If you haven't centered it, or if you don't like where it is, just go to Edit, Undo. You can go to Edit, Undo, and then you can try that again at 0 0.3 centimeters. Okay? I'm going to use the Orbit tool, and I'm going to spin slightly to the side. I'm going to click on the Push-Pull tool. I'm going to click once on the circle and start pushing it inwards. And I want you to type in 0 0.2 cm and then hit Enter. So there we go. We have the outline, the out, uh, exterior of our pencil sharpener. Okay, let's look at this pencil sharpener now from the top view. So let's go to camera, go to standard views, and let's go to top. So we're looking at the uh, sharpener right from the top view. So let's click on the rectangle tool. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to start in this top left-hand corner and don't click anything yet. And I want you to come down about this far. And I want you to draw a rectangle. And it will kind of draw one for you to kind of fill in a middle rectangle here. And you notice how I didn't go right to the edge. I stopped a little bit before the right edge here. So I'm going to click a second time to uh, finish that rectangle. OK. That looks pretty good. Next. I want to click on the pencil tool 
And what we're doing is we're creating the blade at the top of the sharpener that cuts the pencil. And I'm just going to draw a straight line, approximately one third. So imagine this rectangle cut into three equal stripes. So I'm going to just cut uh, a draw line from this edge all the way to this edge. Okay. So let's go up to use the circle tool, okay? Not the circle tool, the arc tool, I apologize. And I want you to start the arc on the top edge of the rectangle that you just drew. So you're gonna click once, and then you're gonna cut diagonally across, get a pink line, and you're gonna go to the opposite edge, and then you're gonna click a second time, and then you're gonna start pulling the circle or the arc outwards, and then click a third time to set that arc. So I'm going to go over that step again. So I'm going to go edit, undo. So I'm going to click on the arc tool. I'm going to position and start my arc here. I'm going to draw a diagonal line across so that I get a pink line. Click a second time. Start pulling the arc upwards. And then click a third time to activate the arc. Now I want to get rid of this little corner here. So let's click on the eraser tool. Let's click on this line and this line. And there we go. We have the nice curved corner where that blade is. Okay. Now let's use the orbit tool. And I want to kind of look at my sharpener again from the front, but still so I can see the top. All right. Let's raise this blade slightly. So let's click on the push pull tool. And what I want to do is I want to click on this portion of the blade. I'm going to click once and I'm going to start pulling upwards. And I'm going to type in 0.4 millimeters, mm this time. We only want it to be raised a slight amount. So hit enter. And you see how that blade is only a fraction of a centimeter higher than the rest of the, um, the pencil sharpener. Okay. Next, let's use the Move tool. Let's click on the Move tool, which is right here. It has the four arrows. And I want you to carefully click on the bottom line here. Okay, this is the top line, the top edge of the blade. This is the bottom edge of the blade. I want you to click on this line, and it should allow you to move it to, that, to the line on the left. And that creates, and click a second time, sorry. So you click once to start the move. You drag it out to this line, and you click a second time. All right, so what we've done is now we've created this triangular blade. Wonderful. Okay, let's save. File, save. All right, the last thing to draw. Let's go back to the top view. Let's go to camera, standard views, top. All right, let's draw the screw that holds the blade in place. So let's click on the circle tool again, and I want you to position it uh, approximately in the middle of the blade. And, sorry about that, let's click once to activate the circle and pull outwards. And then I want you to type in 0 0.1 millimeters and hit enter. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, let me try that again. Uh, how about 0 0.1 centimeters? 0 0.1 centimeters. And maybe you're thinking that's a little bit too small. Yeah, I think that's a little bit too small. So let's edit, undo. All right, let's try that again. So I'm going to position my circle in the center, click once. And how about 0 0.3 centimeters? Is that too big? Hmm, that's not bad. But what I don't want is I don't want this overlap here. You see how the circle went outside of the blade? That's going to cause problems. So I'm going to edit, undo circle, and I'll try it one more time. So how about 0 0.2 centimeters? There, that's perfect. Okay, let's have a look at the screw from the side. And let's use the push-pull tool. Click once on the circle and start dragging upwards. And then what we can do is we can type in, how about 0 0.3 millimeters. There we go. 0 0.3 millimeters. And you see how the screw just sticks out a little bit. Okay. There's our entire sharpener. 
Okay, let's start coloring it. Let's start making it look like something in real life. So I'm going to zoom out just slightly. So let's click on the paint can. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm set to color. So if it's not set to colors, click the down arrow and go to colors. Now, you can make the sharpener any color you want. So you choose your favorite color. And what we want to do is I'm going to color mine... Usually I use blue in these circumstances. Ah, let's go with blue, okay? So what I want to do is I want to color the two sides, the front, the middle of this circle, ah, sorry, the edge of this circle. I apologize for that. And then I want to orbit around so I can see the other sides. Don't forget to paint the bottom and the other side. And... Let's go to the top and the back. Let's make sure I color around the blade and on the back here. And one more thing I need to do is I need to color inside the circle, on the, on the edge of the circle. Okay, next, I wanna change it to black. So let's go all the way to the top, black. I want to color these holes. Now these holes, they run all the way through, but if I were to drill a hole all the way through, it would cause problems with my sketch. So I just want to create the illusion that that hole goes all the way through. So therefore, I'm going to color both sides of the hole black. Okay, let's go to the top. Okay, now let's use, let's, uh, let me teach you a different technique here. So instead of colors, let's go down to metal and I want to choose this, met this metal finish here. So I'm going to click on the top of the blade, the top of the screw, the height of the screw. Now, I have to zoom in because I can't really see that very well. So I need to make sure that I color this portion here. And I'm going to orbit because I need to color these sides. So you see how it's important that I'm zoomed in. Now, when I create, when I created this arc here it actually divides it into smaller sections so I just need to make sure that I color all those sections in make sure I hit every one and make sure I color the side here and I want to go around and have a look at this last portion here okay all right let's zoom out make sure I haven't missed anything orbit around have a good look at it. All right, the final step. I'm gonna close this materials window here. I'm gonna go up to camera, I'm gonna to go to standard views, and I'm gonna look at it from the front again. All right, let's put the uh, company logo on the side here. So you need to have this toolbar here. So in order to activate this toolbar, we have to go to view, toolbars, and you have to make sure that you've got a check mark beside large tool set. So can you click on large tool set? All right, so the tool we're looking for is this one. It's called the 3D text tool. So I want you to click on 3D text and you'll see this window pop up. Okay, so where it says enter text, I want you to type in this company that makes a lot of pencils and pens and kind of high-end drafting equipment, okay? Drawing equipment. So all capitals, Stadler. Now you're going to have to play around with the font. Uh, you're not going to get the exact font. Perhaps some of you have a Stadler eraser or, or pencil sharpener in your pencil case. So I've found that Berlin Sans works okay. I'm going to keep it at regular. And for height, I want to set a height of 0.4 cm, 0.4 centimeters. I want you to make sure that where it says extruded, it is set at zero. So let's click place so what I want you to do is you see how now you have control of that lettering and then I want you to find the right spot on the side of your pencil sharpener and then click once and that should set it there for good okay all right so last thing I want to do is I want to activate the paint can again I want to change metal back to colors and I want to choose white. Stadler, the logo is always in white, so I'm going to paint that white. I'm going to close this, and then I want to have a look at that pencil sharpener from all my angles. Now, if you want, 
You can also put the logo on this side, but to save time in this tutorial, I'm just going to place it on the one side. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can see that pencil sharpener. All right, let's go to File, Save. Now, if you zoom out all the way, you'll see how small you've drawn that pencil sharpener in comparison to the girl who's standing near the origin. And that makes sense, doesn't it? If you were to place your pencil sharpener on the ground, that's about how small it would look. Okay, so this concludes this tutorial on how to draw a pencil sharpener. Please call Mr. Wade over to show him your completed project. Thanks for watching. Bye.